the problem statement in question 4 says ABCD is a trapezium in which AB is parallel to DC AB is parallel to DC BD is a diagonal and E is the midpoint of AD E is the midpoint of AD a line is drawn through E parallel to AB intersecting BC at F so this parallel line intersects BC at F show that F is the midpoint of BC okay so this is what we have to prove now we will make use of the converse of the midpoint theorem this this theorem says that from one midpoint of uh, a triangle if you draw a line parallel to the second side then it bisects the third side so let's apply the converse of the midpoint theorem to triangle d a b so i'm going to highlight this triangle for you triangle d a b in this triangle we will apply the converse of the midpoint theorem so e is the midpoint of d a and uh, this line is parallel to a b so let's call this intersection point x so e x is parallel to a b okay so in triangle d a b e is the midpoint of uh, d a and e x is parallel to a b so by converse of midpoint theorem so by converse of midpoint theorem what can we claim so by this converse of midpoint theorem we can claim that x must be the midpoint of the other side so x must be the midpoint of db so we can claim that x is midpoint of db okay now think about the um, triangle dbc now so in triangle dbc i am going to highlight this triangle so d b c this triangle think of this triangle so in this triangle again we will apply the converse of the midpoint theorem because in this triangle x is the midpoint of db which we proved as our first step and x f is parallel to dc why is it parallel to uh, dc because e f when it was drawn it was uh, drawn as parallel to uh, ab but ab is also parallel to dc so ef is parallel to both ab and dc so let's write this ef is parallel to ab and hence it is also parallel to dc and this means that in triangle dbc um, x is the midpoint and xf is parallel to dc so we can apply the converse of the midpoint theorem so let's write it out in triangle dbc x is the midpoint of db and xf is parallel to dc so this means again we can apply the converse of the midpoint theorem so by by the converse of midpoint theorem in this case we can claim that the point f this point f is the midpoint of uh, bc or cb so f is the midpoint of bc and this completes our proof so the proof happens the proof in this case is in two steps first we prove that this point of intersection x is the midpoint of db and we do that by applying the converse of the midpoint theorem to triangle dab then we prove using the fact that x is the midpoint of db we prove that f is the midpoint of bc again um, by applying the converse of the midpoint theorem to triangle dbc so this is how we can do question number 4 to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers